Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, your friendly neighborhood DIYer, and this is a brand new series on this channel called Homemade Home, a series where I'm gonna be taking you through my DIY journey to make over my newly purchased home into a place that I love. I just want my home to feel cozy and feel more like me, and I gotta do it in a budget-friendly way because I just spent all my money to buy a house. I would also like to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Bear. When I told them what I was doing for my first project and the crazy paint idea that I had, they were like, yes, and I'm so excited. So let's jump into this episode so I can show you what we're doing. This is my tool shed, AKA the shack. Let's go into my shack and I'll show you around. So obviously this room isn't much right now. We just threw all my tools in here when we first moved in because it was just like, find a place for it and move on. <laughs> There's quite a bit of room here. There's one long wall here. There's a little shelf here. And then there is a creepy area up here. I don't know if I actually like that very much. So I might be getting rid of that. There's a lot of potential in here. It's oozing with creativity and I'm excited. So I have a plan. Let me walk you through it. I'm calling the space the She Shack, and mostly because I didn't know what else to name it. <laughs> so if you guys have better names for this area, the tool shed, um, let me know in the comment section below. Walking in, I kind of had to decide what is my overall goals for the space. First of all, my goal is to have storage for my tools. I want one big wall that's going to feature all of my most used tools so that they are easy to grab and take off the wall. And I'm gonna do that with pegboard. The second thing is I want a space that I can work 360, like a, like a countertop area that I can walk 360 around and it makes it super easy to build projects off of. Next, I want a place that I can hold my wood. Um, so that little rafter that's up in my shed, I don't really like that because I'm one of those people that if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And if I put all my wood up there, I am not going to use it like ever. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take that out, open up that whole area, and I wanna create a place that's going to hold all of my wood. So I'm using this photo as kind of like my goal in inspo right now. What I really liked about it was that it was really white on the inside, so it's nice and bright. I also like that there's little shelves built in between the structure of the shed. And on top of that, there's these two tool benches um, with one long bench that runs across it. I just wanted that space to feel inspiring and color filled. So the only way I could do that was with a really cool mural. So I actually found this piece of art. This is my inspiration. This was created by Lauren Mycroft. Um, I found her on Pinterest and just fell in love with this and I thought I have to do this or some kind of iteration of that and use this as my inspiration. So thank you, Lauren, you are amazing. Um, and of course I pulled in my Ryobi tool color blocking as you can see here. Those tools are very bright so you have to Keep that in mind if your tool shed is going to be featuring all these lime green tools. Let's talk about paint. So for all of my paint, I'm gonna use the Bare Ultra Scuff Defense Interior Paint and Primer. This is the perfect paint because I'm gonna be in a high volume area. This is a space that's gonna be used, scuffed up a lot. Um, I'm gonna be using tools in it. So it needs a paint that's going to be very durable. If there's any place that needs a scuff defense paint, this is it. So the colors that I'm gonna be using are coming from the Bare Color Trends 2021 palette. They created 21 brand new colors to elevate your comfort zone. And I figured, well, my She Shack is basically my comfort zone, so this is a perfect time to use these colors. I just think they're so warm and they just make me feel cozy. If you don't know what colors you wanna use, but you wanna play around, a really great tool to use is the Bare Color Smart Online. This is a really great tool for playing with different colors, sourcing different colors, finding like-minded colors, and you can pull them all into the side over here, see how they work together. It really helps you visualize. And then a big question that I always get asked is, how do you calculate um, how much paint you're going to need? Well, there's actually a paint calculator on this website that you can use to calculate everything that you need. So you never have to guess, you'll never overbuy paint, or you'll never under 
under by paint, which is even more annoying. And it's just a great tool. So I don't know if you guys know, but Bear Color Smart has an app that you can download on your phone. What I love about this is that, you know, if you're out, you see a beautiful flower and you're like, oh my God, I love the color of that flower. I wish it was a paint color. You can take a photo of that flower and it'll match its library to that flower. Isn't that amazing? So I think I have a DIY plan now. I'm excited. So let's go pick up our paint. <laughs> Look at the selection. Woo. Okay, so that was a fun experience. It's hard learning a new Home Depot. Say hello to the new Home Depot DIY Danny, because uh, this is going to be your local stop for a long time. Hello and welcome to a new DIY day. Say hello to Doggo, he's out there in the yard. It is officially time to start this shed makeover. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking all the items, bringing it out and bringing it into this like little front area here. Cue the montage that makes this look so much easier. Just making sure you're still rolling. Yay! now I need to take out the shelving area I also need to get a ladder and then start taking all of that down so uh, let's start doing that a lot of split wood in here someone didn't pre-drill I'm very very afraid is this attached the answer is yes okay what this means is that I can't actually do this project by myself. I'm going to need a DIY buddy. Um, so I'm going to wait till my partner Jeffrey comes home and then uh, we will tackle this part together. I'm not going to let the little things get me down because there are still things that I can do to escalate my project forward. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to get going on cleaning all of these windows and taking any excess two by four lumber that I had kicking around to build extra shelving inside the frames. Oh, left hand. I had to go change my batteries, but it actually just occurred to me that I never told you guys that this delivered. Check it out. That's gonna be my 360 worktop table in the, in the space. Also forgot to show you, look at that. One drawer, two drawers. Very, 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 very exciting. It's all come together. I'm gonna keep working. It's coming along! Hooray! Who has shelving? Da, 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 da. I gotta say, I'm uh, pretty thrilled with that wall. I think it's going to work swimmingly for what I need it for. A lot happened today. Although it doesn't feel that way, sometimes that's the way she goes, but a lot did happen. We got this empty, got it cleaned, got the windows cleaned, got this back wall ready. We got a big wood piece ready. We just have to build the corner over there for wood and that'll be quick tomorrow morning and then I can get this down quick tomorrow morning and then we can start painting, which is what we're here for. So I'm excited. I'm gonna go and eat and warm up. See you tomorrow. So I am currently en route to the Home Depot. Um, Jeffrey and I got talking last night and we kind of thought that maybe doing a vinyl flooring on the floor of the she shed would probably look the best. So we're gonna go and look at vinyl flooring and then I'm gonna come back and then start on the shed. A lot's gotta happen today, so I'm excited. And uh, I'm also really excited to look at some flooring. So that should be cool. Stay tuned. Not bad. You like that one? Yeah, I like that one, and I also like the price. Canadian walnut. Hey, it's your favorite. What are you saying? You love walnut. Nothing like start your day at the Home Depot. <laughs> okay, I am officially back. I am at shed, 
And while we were at the Home Depot this morning, we bought a, well, this was Jeffrey's idea, a giant mallet <laughs> for this. It's coming down. You gotta say it with me. It's coming down. It's coming down. Wow, well, that was underwhelming. Okay, there she is, completely open ceiling. Now I didn't show this on camera, but we went and added these little cross beams just because we took out a lot of support that was already running across. So by putting these in, it's just giving the roof a little bit of support. Now that that's all done and we got a big old barn happening, I'm gonna start building a box so that I have some wood um, storage. They decided that it's gonna be three feet high and about 12 feet deep. I'm making this super thin so that it doesn't allow me to want to keep a lot of wood. It's my goal. Well, it's the box that will hold wood. And now, it's time to suit up. I've always wanted to wear one of these things. Real question is, how cool do I look right now? Does my face look really round? <laughs> yeah, you look like you're the kid playing the moon in a school play. <laughs> so the whole interior of the shed is going to be the smoky white. To paint this entire shed, I'm using a semi-gloss paint and primer, which has a mildew resistant finish. Beyond all this good stuff, it's easy to clean and it touches up well. It's nice, right? Always so satisfying. The Bear Ultra interior paint with scuff defense technology comes with four different sheens and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about those sheens when I get to my mural. It's just a great paint to invest in when tackling paint projects in your home, folks. The entire experience I think is going really well. I have paint on every crevasse of my body, but I definitely needed more paint than I thought I was going to need. I had only bought two gallons and I've easily gone through two gallons without even hitting the roof yet. So I'm uh, sent Jeffrey out to get me more gallons of paint. Also, do I look like a giant dweeb right now? Yes, the answer is always yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go paint the ceiling. Jeffrey just got back. We are going to put up the pegboard sheets onto this wall so that I can just finish this whole room out. That's what happens when you DIY later in the day and you're tired, you start making mistakes. I am not allowed to use a drill right now. <laughs> I've been banned from the drill. I want you guys to see something. I get to look at that beautiful sunset every single day and I'm so excited. And on top of that, basically every night it smells like campfire here. So that's also really great. <laughs> okay, we got some painted to do. Very spooky now. So oh. close. Check it out, crazy to think where this started. So excited, look at that ceiling. All right, that is the end to this day. I'm gonna clean up and then uh, shower. So I will see you all tomorrow. Good morning, very excited for today because today is mural day. Getting in here this morning, it just, oh, feels so amazing. feels so amazing. You know, I was thinking this morning when I first opened up the doors, just 
the power of DIY and the feeling that it gives you when you've worked so hard for something and you start to see it come to an end and see your vision come to life. There's just the nothing can touch that feeling. It is the best feeling in the entire world. It's been a long time since I've been able to just paint something. So this is my happy place and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So are you ready to see the paint colors we're gonna use? Come on with me. Okay, take a look at these colors. Have you guys ever seen a more beautiful palette? So this is going on here. I'm kind of going into this in a sense of like winging it. Use this as inspiration, like a color palette in general shape, but I just wanna make it my own. So we're gonna start with some Seaside Villa and we'll go from there. So I decided it would be really fun to play with different sheens for this project and give my mural a little bit of texture. So each color will be a different sheen. So some of it will be a little bit more glossy. Some of it will be a bit more flat. And I just think that's really cool. I don't know. I hope that works out. I hope it's going to look cool. I've never done it before, but hopefully it will. Painting a mural like this was such a creatively freeing activity. The paint applied on so well to this pegboard. I was just so happy because I knew this scuff defense paint was going to give my pegboard that scuff resistance of a gloss, which will be perfect for the soon to be highly used area to hold all my tools. So I was just painting and then uh, all of a sudden it just went black and outside is just storming. So I've had to close up the doors. Why does this always happen to me? It's the inevitable. It's my curse, the DIY weather curse. Anywho, loving where this is going. Okay, finishing touches. Other than that, we might have a finished mural, my friends. Yay! We have a mural! I'm so excited! I mean, it's not exactly like the original, which I kind of like. I've made it my own, but I think I definitely took inspiration from it. That looks so rad. Now that we are all done, I will see you all tomorrow. Another day, another DIY. <laughs> so, uh, it's a very exciting day. I got a big truck here because I basically asked my dad if he would help me pick up some 12 foot boards. I will explain what these are for in a little bit, but that is why he is here. So while he was here, I was like, so do you want to help me lay laminate down? Hello, Pacha. Hello there, how are you doing? Are you excited to lay laminate with me? Absolutely, I'm just so thankful to be here. That looks a little facetious. <laughs> it's gonna be great, we're gonna have a great time because you know what? We're excited, aren't we? Awesome. <laughs> so that means that this is still not enough. Correct. Ah. One more time. Danny's motto is measure zero times, cut five times. What do you guys think? This is the way. <laughs> TM. <laughs> okay guys, check it out. How amazing does this look? It's like night and day. Oh, she's so beautiful. Does this look awesome? So, as I was saying earlier, the whole reason why my dad came here was to drop off these 12 inch boards. But what are they for? Well, in the space, I'm going to be putting two tool cabinets on either side. And I actually think I might lower this one and put it in the middle. And then I'm going to run those boards right across. I'm actually going to rip them both on each side because I don't know if you can see, but they're a little beveled. Um, they kind of got a curved edge and I don't really want um, a crease. So I'm gonna actually rip both these boards on the inside. And that, my friends, is what you call a one-man DIY job. <laughs> that was not easy. But where there's a will, there's a way. And I got both. 
Okay, so it's actually getting very dark and it's a good chance you guys won't be able to see me soon because I don't have lights in here yet. Um, so I am going to run some glue down the center of this, clamp it all together, and then uh, we'll see how it goes and how it looks in the morning. So I have been busy this morning. I uh, got up early and I just built a tabletop. I glued up the middle of them and I also really wanted to add the small lip on the back because there's nothing worse than when you put something down and then it rolls on the back. So I didn't want that. You know, nothing to it. Just some glue, some screws and some boards. Easy peasy guys. Um, so I'm going to start painting this and then uh, we'll see what it looks like afterwards. We're almost done. To paint this bench top, I'm using the same Bare Ultra Scuff Defense color I used to cover the walls, which is smoky white. It is a semi-gloss, so I can rest easy knowing it's going to be a durable, scuff-free surface. I went in for some food and then looked out the window and it was raining. <laughs> so then I go racing outside to save all of my tools. I don't even think I saved them all. Oh, crap. Still have some out here. <laughs> Okay, I didn't think I would get here, but we are officially there. It is time to start organizing. I got some bins, I got some tools all around me, and I'm going to start with organizing tools on pegboard. Very excited. Although it is not in my face through defeat of this weather. Very excited. Scissors there. Oh yeah, we got some little scissors. Okay, got a basket. Three offset. Okay. Well, this all needs to be moved over. <laughs> I'm not feeling very confident right now in my abilities to organize this space, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. It's just like it's all very overwhelming when you see it like this. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna keep telling myself that. So there is a lot of organization going down right now. So I'm going to leave you guys. I'm going to organize this entire space and then I'm going to walk you through how all the space came together and it's going to be epic. See you in two seconds. For me, a couple hours. For you, see you in two seconds. The shed is finally finished and I'm going to take you on my tour. Welcome to the brand new made over she shack. Yeah. I love everything about this shed, starting with how bright and light it feels by completely transforming the entire wood using white paint. The new flooring really just makes this whole space feel so complete. I love my mural pegboard. I think it brings so much fun into this space and I love the color choices. I just think that this is going to inspire my creativity every time I use this space. And what's really fun is because I played with different sheens on this mural, this might not translate very well on camera, but it does in real life. You can see certain areas a little bit more shiny and certain aspects were a little bit more flat. I think playing with different sheens really brought some dimension to the entire mural that I never would have thought about. As you can see, my budget-friendly tabletop is working just great above these three storage units across the wall. I have never been more excited to see all my favorite tools on display for easy grabbing. Using dowels and hangers, I added a quick grab craft paper roll and a paper towel above for easy grabbing. These are essential in any workspace and I totally recommend this hack on a dowel if you're going to have a space like me. I have all of my safety glasses, scissors, chisels, and commonly used screwdrivers and pliers in one handy place. There are three baskets, one I'm using for work gloves and notebooks, and the rest which are still kind of finding a purpose. Then of course on the right side I have a section for straight edges, levels, squares, and saws. My built-in shelf holds commonly used items for so many different things like cleaning, saw horses, miter box, my drawing triangles, you name it, plus lots of room for future items. Of course, I have my two sections for wood storage, which ended up working out perfectly, and my clamps were clamped to the wall. 
Under my 360 work table, I'm keeping my pack out kit. I use this for location shoots all the time and this kit is so handy to keep all my items in one place. I love it to pieces. And of course my three storage units, bless these units so much. The middle unit holds all of my small tools like screwdrivers. Look how organized it all is in bins. Isn't that blissful? Of course I have a section for blades, extra pieces to tools, specialty screws, and just tools that aren't used on a regular basis. My right unit is holding bins for tape and anchors and larger items, while my left storage unit holds commonly used items for staining, gloves, brushes, cleaning supplies, or more specialty use items on particular projects. All in all, this little she shack is going to serve me so well in all my upcoming DIY projects. Now there are a few things that still need to happen in this space, like above I need to put in lighting up here which will get added in time once I can run power to this space. And I mean I just love it because this is going to be a evolving space and maybe the mural will change once a year, I don't know, but I just love it. Um, this was a lot of work, a lot. Let me tell you, Guys, thank you so much for watching this crazy she shed transformation. I hope you all found motivation and inspiration throughout this entire process. And I hope it just inspired you to step outside your comfort zone, try something new, use color on your wall, paint a mural. If it's a creative space, get creative because it's only going to inspire you that much more. And thank you so much to Bear, the sponsor of this episode. I could not have done this space without you. You guys are amazing. And if you wanna check out any of the paint that I used or any of the paint from the Bear Color Trends 2021 color palette, go check it out. I've linked it in the description box below. What was your favorite part of this She Shed makeover? Was it the mural? Did you find inspiration for your own creative spaces? Let me know in the comment section below and I will see you guys next week for the next DIY project. Bye-bye.